optimizing your hormones is kind of like, you know, having a ton of motivational speakers running through your body. Really, what we're talking about is how to maximize your gains without plateauing at any age. And so, Stephanie, I hear this a lot where clients come to us and they're like, hey, look, I'm doing the same regimen I did in my 20s and 30s. I'm eating the right foods. I'm working out the same way. I got really fit like when I was you know, 25 years young or my 30s, but now I'm in my 40s or 50s nothing works. And they're kind of hassled because they're kind of going through all these supplements that, that they read in a book or they heard about a podcast or they went to Dr. Google or they saw on Reddit and it doesn't help them. Right. And they feel kind of overwhelmed. And, you know, it's really tough, basically just kind of breaking through a plateau as you get older. And what's interesting is, you know, everyone has a different kind of secret or kind of a, an approach. What was your journey to kind of personally break through? Right. It, you took a long time. I remember you speaking earlier. Yeah. Yeah, everyone, I mean, everyone is just so different. So some people may struggle with maintaining that motivation or creating a habit that really sticks um, and then just continuing to to act on that habit or continuing to have that discipline or that kind of a thing. But really what happens is you know, everyone just with everyone being so different, my personal struggle was with was with not overdoing it. So yes. ultimately, I would kind of tend to um, work out for several hours trying to do the same things because I thought that in order to kind of reach the goals that I had, I would need to just con continue you know, lift more weights, do more reps, um, stay in the gym for longer. Um, ultimately, that didn't end up being the, the best thing for me in the long term. But, you know, everyone being different, I've also seen people who just lose the motivation after a while. So I think that it kind of working with where you're at is really important because um, it's really easy to say, okay, I'm going to do this workout regimen and I'm going to do it every week forever. And it's just, I know that this works for me right now and just expect results to be consistent, but that's definitely not going to be the case with anything um, that you're doing with your body, with your mind. You have to just kind of adapt to your, your, your situation. So the current um, season in life. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting. So you had yeah. an issue with overtraining. Interesting, like you had just brute force it. That was like your solution. How did you break that through was, to avoid the? I was. Um, I. I actually. Yeah. I would be tired a lot. So I was. I was training. I was. I was tired a lot. I was not necessarily eating very well because I was cutting carbs. I had some bad advice. That was <laughs> Count on, yeah. If you um, if you eat keto and you um, you lift heavy weights, you're going to be in really good shape forever. And so, you know, I I think that for me, um, I was getting really tired and I was really feeling it, but I had some injuries and that kind of a thing. But what I realized was that ultimately I, I needed to kind of back off and approach it from a different angle. So really what I needed to do was like shift my focus from from maybe a strength focus one one period of time. Um, for me, that was a few months. So I would focus on strength and then following that, I would focus on endurance and then following that, I would focus on kind of some of those, those Mo technical mobility. skills. Yeah, mobility, gymnastics. Flexibility, okay. And the strength built the foundation for me to be able to do the reps, to create the endurance, to, you know, work uh, on developing those skills. So for me, that was what worked well. Yeah, it sounds like you're kind of adding variance to your regimen, right? It kind of reminds me when I was in the growth equity world, I got like, you know, uh, I'm six feet in shoes, right? So 5'11", just under 5'11", but I got to 230, right? And I was a former college athlete, a walk-on. And I thought, hey, look, I can get back in shape. It's, it's perfect, but, you know, nothing I did worked right uh, when i was at 230 and i was just like literally like my waistline was so bad i was like so overweight none of my suits fit and no we were wearing patagonia patagucci vests but none of them fit and it was very embarrassing right and it's like what the heck you know i used to be that guy and nothing was working and so my breakthrough actually occurred when i just was like hey, all right i give up i need help right and it's tough like maybe this doesn't apply to most guys but i, I had a you know hard time like asking for help because i thought i was the expert right and what i learned kind of so much of like how you add variance to your current season right i learned that like in a workout season or in a kind of a regimen, if it's uh, the, the training aspect, right? It needs to fit your current season, right? And so how Dr. Ryan kind of defines it, it's like, hey, like, are you in a, you know, flexibility kind of mobility phase? Are you kind of, you know, easing out the joint pain, kind of working on that? Are you doing a recomp where you're kind of leaning out? Yeah. Caloric restriction, are you doing like a mass gain, right? And depending on like what season you're in, 
right? It kind of governs and tells you like what to eat in terms of like the supplement side, right? How to, you know, fight on the adrenal fatigue and, and balance other cortisol levels. Like what are you kind of taking on the diet aspect? Like, so your proteins, fats, carbs, like what are we doing on the macro aspect, right? Macronutrient and then training, right? Cause like training for gaining mass and training for recount flexibility is, is varied and you have to vary it. And so when you don't add variance, when you kind of keep doing stuff that worked in the past, and you don't add like a expert lens on on those three, the micro macros and training, you end up with a plateau like myself, right? Uh, and so I, how I solved it was, you know, going through those three and double clicking on those three, but also kind of the hormone aspect, right? And hormones, oh, everyone talks about them and there's so much science on it and we don't want to go further into it, but it's kind of like optimizing your hormones is kind of like, you know, having a ton of motivational speakers running through your body. And as you age, your levels just decline. That's a secret, right? And so it's not like, getting back to your twenties per se, but it's just optimizing your profile, right? For where you are in your current season. And so having those lenses, right? Adding the diagnostic testing to help you tell you where you're deficient can definitely help, right? And working out in a group setting, I worked with Total. a lot of people who were um, a little bit older who hadn't maybe necessarily started exercising until they were in their forties or fifties. They say that they feel better than they were in their twenties just because they've developed that habit. And it just makes you feel so good. You know, you have all those endorphins and that kind of thing. Do they look better though? <laughs> just, just kidding. But feeling better, I get that a lot. I hear that a lot. And some of our most successful clients are like, hey, look, you know, because I, I've started to train and because it's like something I just do by default, kind of like brushing my teeth or like, yeah. you know, drinking a glass of water when I wake up, like it's by default, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, um, it's kind of being successful. And that's a really interesting point you mentioned, though, that you notice a lot of your like, um, you know, classmates in the classes that are part of that healthy tribe are really kind of feeling better than they were in the, in the 20s and 30s. And I think it's kind of back to your point about like approaching your goals, like fitness wise from different angles, right? Yeah. And not being stuck with like, I guess, antiquated lenses or antiquated views, right? And considering kind of what you were saying earlier, like where am I in my current season of life, right? And, and, and it kind of draws back to the business too. Are you scaling? Are you growing? Are you kind of downsizing? Like, what is it? Like, where is your current season? And like, what do you need to do to optimize? Just like anything in life, you have to be adaptable. Your plan has to be dynamic. So um, that's just, just as important when it comes to your fitness, your your mental and your physical well-being. Right, and so just, you know, just to summarize, maximize your gains without plateauing have variants right have variants and have a lens of expertise and be ready to ask for help i guess and a tribe a tribe of people that support and kind of enhance um you know your goals dynamite right yeah definitely makes all the difference <laughs>